Hi, this is uh, just a video about the, my new last project. It's a BD5E from Skywalker. Uh, I actually got this uh, playing in BEVRC.com and uh, I'd like to, to make some comments about it. Uh, this plane has already been actually made in flight uh, and I used the recommended configuration which is a motor that is not this one and uh, I can tell you that uh, well the recommended configuration is not very good I mean it was like suffering so hard to get back in the air so I don't recommend actually uh, well it, I haven't actually tried this one this new motor that I'm using here is the E Pro Speed E Pro? Uh, I had a friend of mine get it in the in Hong Kong for me. Uh, I'm also using a Slow Fly uh, Propeller Eight by Six. Um, the light system is this Let Me Fly uh, for by Hobby King. These slides also from Hobby King, and I'm using the OSD uh, Nova OSD by Cyclops. Um, I made a comment the other day about this in, uh, in someone else's video, but what I did is I put this uh, the IR sensor in the nose. I cut this in a way that it would be flat. And I make this uh, insert made out of carbon fiber in a kind of attempt to avoid any kind of uh, interference on the antenna. Uh, I painted off the black part, the inside part of the canopy by black so that it gets a little better visual. Uh, some comments about the plane itself is that the kit did came with some missing parts like the these rods from the ailerons both were missing I have to manufacture one the boat that holds the plane the the wing to the fuselage was missing even this small tiny uh, uh, iron part so that you can connect the magnet was missing so um, what I can comment about this plane is that it's actually really nice to fly. Like I said, the original configuration or the recommended configuration uh, by BVRC.com, uh, I, th I thought it was you know, not good enough and it suffered too much to keep itself in the air with all the equipment on. And the configuration that I'm using now is uh, for powertrain, I'm using this motor which I'm gonna put in the description of the video, uh, the best reference I can get. Um, two 2200 LiPos uh, for the proportion. Uh, one 800 ZP uh, for the OSD and the transmitting device. I'm using here the Orange 7 channel uh, Although I'm flying with a 6th channel, and i explain why, actually I also have a capacitor for volta uh, other voltage protection, which I use in the 7th uh, channel, so it spares me uh, this channel. And actually what I was looking for is the fail-safe function, because um, I have one of the channels that actually activates the OSD return to home function, so as soon as I, I'm out of reach from the radio, which is a still uh, stock configuration, uh, the plane automatically will uh, activate the return to home. And I have to mention that so far I'm very, very satisfied with the Nova OSD. This is the GPS, uh, and this is also one shooting that I put to avoid this uh, interference. I don't know if it's actually gonna cause some interference, but uh, I'm not a specialist on that. It's not gonna be too much of a pain for the plane to get these, so why not? 
Uh, other than that, uh, I put a drone's vision uh, camera. Uh, I got uh, the Nova OSD from uh, Foxtech and uh, the setting for the video transmission I got from uh, BVRC, BVRC as well. Uh, so I had some uh, comments from uh, some people that, well, actually one guy from Brazil who got this, uh, this plane and he actually said that he was not able to do the perfect setup and so on and so forth. He was uh, not being able to uh, get along very well with the plane. So uh, in this case, I tell you that I could do it, and uh, I think it's uh, it was a little bit uh, nose heavy the first time I fly I flown it, but I kind of corrected the, the the position of the batteries that you can actually do it very easily. This is uh, an idea that I had as I'm using some carbon fiber to isolate the the radio frequency. I prefer to put the antenna outside, and by this way, with a little straw, uh, I would make it uh, constantly uh, in this position, according to the in relation to the fuselage. Also, I have this. Uh, this is the small wire for the satellite receiver, also for Hobby King, and I had this wing protection I put it here which actually is just what I need in order not to have any contact it's like a little bit less than one centimeter so um, obviously I'm gonna have to replace this after some takeoffs as far as the video equipment is concerned um, what I'm using now is the BVRC seven, uh, 12, I don't know, 12 channel. Um, I'm also using, instead of uh, Fat Shark, I'm using the Vuzix 920. This is, uh, this is actually some goggles that I've been looking after for a long time. Uh, it also serves to, it's also very good for, um, actually connecting to a computer or to iPhone and things like that. So actually it's not going to be completely dedicated to FPV, but it's going to be useful during some flights and so on and so forth. My DX6E, yeah, I did put some backlight here, which is really neat. And uh, yeah, but the antenna doesn't help much. This is two stock configuration, but for longer flights, I'm planning on putting it to watt uh, amplifier. And let's see how it goes. So, uh, yes, uh, I was looking for a lot of, uh, I was doing some research for information on this plane in the internet, and I did not have much information. That's why I decided to do this uh, little video. Um, I still didn't made and remade and it with the new uh, powertrain but as soon as I have it uh, I will as soon as I have a very good opportunity because the weather is now not very good uh, I will do it and I'll put up my impressions in my next video and after some time I also put some aerial airborne footage of the flight uh, just to add this detail about the operation of Novo SD, I could test perfectly the usage of the PA, the pilot assistant, and also uh, tested the return to home function, including switching off the control, like uh, simulating the loss of communication, and it worked perfectly. So that's why I needed to have the 7 channel, the orange uh, 7 channel that has the fail safe uh, function that will actually automatically uh, put the, the aircraft in return to home because for the tests I've done it doesn't do it by itself. Alright, that's it. Thanks for watching.